Hello, this is Reza Rat from Radicad. In this video, I'm going to talk about shortcuts, which is one of the features in Microsoft Fabric One Lake, how they are important in avoiding duplicates and having one copy of your data everywhere uh, and how they link domains together. Let's go and check. To understand the shortcuts, let's first uh, have a very quick introduction about Fabric from Van Lake. So Microsoft Fabric is an end-to-end -end analytics as a service solution provided by Microsoft. Uh, it's a service offering that includes multiple workloads, a workload for data engineering, data integration, data warehousing, business intelligence, uh, the storage underneath, the storage engine underneath one underneath uh, Microsoft Fabric is called One Lake. One Lake is a logical layer on top of Azure Data Lake uh, 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 Gen 2, Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2, which provides one um, place to store all your data logically. Uh, but in that one place, you can group your data into domains, which I have explained it in another video separately. Domains are uh, considered these as like different business domains, as, as groups, as uh, not centralized groups that each group might have um, their own responsibility of their own data. They might interact with each other, but for example, the sales domain might include some sales data entities warehouse, lake house, and uh, notebook, data pipelines, marketing might have their own fabric entities. Um, now, uh, this domain structure comes from data mesh, which I explained it in another video as I explained, uh, as I uh, mentioned. Um, now, sometimes you need to link the data between these domains. For example, a date table might be needed in multiple one, multiple domains, or in that case, you usually put it in a central place and access it in other places rather than copying it or duplicating it. What about your customer table? You might need it in one of these places and then other places might need to access it. So uh, that is where the shortcut comes into the play. So shortcuts are saying that instead of you have the data entity table file, whatever it is, copied across multiple domains or workspaces um, instead of having duplicates of the data, which is not good to have duplicates of the data because it comes with a high maintenance cost um, and uh, making sure that um, all those duplicates are um, valid data. Can you trust all of them the same? Um, so duplicate, duplication is not good. So instead of having to duplications, one copy, uh, which is one of the features of uh, one lake, um, which provides the shortcut is saying that you keep the data in one place, but you can create shortcuts to that in other places. So for example, when you are in lake house one, you can create a shortcut to a table in lake house two. And that gives you a direct access to that table as if that table really lives in lake house one. So that shortcut looks like a internal table in your uh, lake house one, but it is a table exist and live in lake house two. That is the meaning of shortcut, like a Windows shortcut. When you create a shortcut uh, to another file or a folder, uh, that shortcut might live in a different drive, but it uh, gives you a direct access to that file and folder in another place. Uh, so that is shortcut in nutshell. Now, shortcut comes with some um, uh, some of the features around it. So one of the things is that when you create the shortcut, the icon beside that has a link, like what you see here, a little link beside it, so that you can distinguish this between um, the tables uh, or files, um, compare it with other files. Um, another thing is that shortcut can be used like any files or tables inside your fabric item. For example, when you are in a lake house and you have a customer table, which is a shortcut table, and fact internet sales, which is a normal table, as you can see, I can query these two tables, join them together without any complications. Everything would work just fine like a normal internal table. That is one of the best thing about the shortcuts available. You don't need specific way of using it. You act like, and these act like an internal entity to that and to that environment they are um, placed in. Uh, there are two paths related to the shortcut. One of them is the path that shortcut lives in it, which is shortcut path. Like for example, when I create the, um, uh, when I create the shortcut in Lake House 1, 
the shortcut path is in Lakehouse One, but that shortcut might point to a table in shortcut in in Lakehouse Two. So the target path is where the shortcut is pointing to. Um, in this case, it would be in Lakehouse Two in whatever folder it is. Um, you can create shortcuts at the time of creating this video. You can create it in Lakehouse or in KQL database, which is a real-time streaming database. Um, later on, you might be able to create it in other places as well, uh, where the shortcut can point to or what the target can be. So it can be anywhere in the one lake, basically anywhere in Fabric. Uh, it can be in Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2. It can be in Amazon S3 storage account, or it can be a Dataverse. Uh, so the first one is considered as internal shortcut. All the three other objects are considered as external shortcuts. But the shortcut would act the same anyway when you are when you have created it. So let's have a look at it how this works. I have a um, I have an example here that uh, here I have my workspace. In this workspace, I have a lake house. I'll just go to the Lakehouse Explorer. Now in this Lakehouse Explorer, I already have a shortcut, but I'll show you the process of creating it. It's quite simple process to create a shortcut. Um, you can create it in the files or in the tables. As you can see, when I click on the three dots in here, they both have the option to create a new shortcut. So let's say I create a new shortcut for the tables. The customer table is actually a shortcut, but I'll show you how to create one. Uh, my shortcut can be internal resources, external, uh, internal sources, external. I'll choose internal, fabric one leg, so it gives me access to, um, to the um, sources that I have access. For example, I can go to another lake house, um, but this can be a warehouse. This can be any other places in the one lake. And under that, I can choose the tables that I want this to be created on. For example, I can select the dim date here. Now, each table has parquet files under folder. Shortcut basically are connect uh, our points to that folder. When you have parquet files under that folder, it's considered as a table, but that is how we basically create the shortcut, um, either to the folder as a file shortcut or mm, to the folder as a table shortcut, because this is a table data, so it creates it as a table shortcut. Once the shortcut is created, it's like a normal table. As you can see, dim data and customer, they both are shortcuts. They have a little link icon beside them, uh, but they are like a normal table. When I click on them, I can see the data of that object. I can also go and write a SQL query that has uh, these in it, and I can use it in Power BI dataset associated with that. So they act like a normal, um, normal database object. I'll show you a SQL query that I have on this. So for that, I'll go to the SQL endpoint of that lake house. Uh, at the moment in the SQL endpoint of the lake house, the table looks, all the tables look the same. So in the SQL endpoint, it's not easy to find out is it a, a shortcut or not. You see all the three tables, they don't have a link icon. Um, and, and that is actually how it would really work because you don't really need to um, worry about it from this point of view. In this place, you can have a SQL statement like this. Here is the SQL statement. You can see that I have queried data from the customer table, which is one of my shortcut tables, and fact internet sales, which is my internal table. And when I query that, they join together and I can see the result like that. I can use this in uh, notebooks. I can use it in other places as a, an internal object. How would the access part of this work? Like who can create the shortcut? So everyone who has access, edit access to this object, can create work and uh, can create shortcuts. So this is a lake house inside a workspace. So um, edit access inside the workspace is provided by member uh, level access, contributor or administrator, not the viewer. Viewer cannot create it. Um, in the shortcut object, you can read the data or you can even write back to it. And that also depending on how is your access to the target path. So this uh, lake house that I'm 
pointing to, which is like another lake house adventure works. It might be in another workspace. Um, my user should have access, edit access in there if I'm going to write something uh, or at least view access to that if I'm going to read something from it. Uh, so that's in nutshell what the, uh, what the um, shortcut is about. It's a very helpful feature in avoiding duplications. It's quite, uh, in these days, it's quite easy to create duplicates of entities and duplication would affect the trustworthiness of the data um, in a bad way. Uh, it would also um, have uh, maintenance overhead and costs, so you should avoid that. One of the ways that you can avoid it is shortcuts. Shortcuts are really simple to create and use, uh, and uh, they act like an internal object. I hope you liked this video. If you liked this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos on Microsoft Fabric and Power BI. Until the next video, bye.